Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel reporting from Coventry on Clay Lane where Romani Morgan lost his life after a house party allegedly. So I thought I'd come up here to get some footage and just get an idea of what's going on generally in the area. There's still quite a high police presence. This teenager that is actually meant to be from Birmingham was stabbed to death on this road on Saturday night. So there's a lot of questions as to what's going on in Coventry and why so many teenagers are getting involved in this sort of thing. I really appreciate you joining me and this is about Coventry again. I've been covering Coventry for a while. I highlight all the good music coming out of Coventry and artists but also I, I try to cover as much of what's going on in Coventry as possible to give the youngers an idea of what is really happening and the causes of why it's happening. Romani Morgan died on Clay Lane in the Stoke area of Coventry on Saturday night at around to become a professional one day. He was a very talented footballer. His friends actually messaged me on Instagram to actually tell me and these are the two teenagers that have lost their lives in Coventry in the past month alone. Romani was from the Erdington area of Birmingham and suffered fatal stab wounds. West Midlands Police continued to interview two 17 year olds who remained in police custody on Monday morning. Last night Kane Hayden who plays for Aston Villa's under 23 side took to social media to pay tribute to Romani. In a tweet he said following his side's game against Reading under 23s it's been an emotional night for me. I hope I made you proud, Romani. Until we meet again, my brother. He previously tweeted a picture of Romani with words cannot explain how I'm feeling. My longtime brother, fly high, with a hashtag of stop knife crime. Police believe that trouble flared at a house party in Shanda Street. They have spoken to a number of people at the party, but they still need to speak to more, they said. I went down to the scene of the murder. I actually got footage from the scene to try and give you an idea of what it looked like down there, what was going on. And the situation is Chandos Street is actually locked down by police. There's about five riot vans inside that grove and there's also police on the drives of houses which seems like they're protecting maybe the people inside in case of any comebacks or retaliation due to them believing that the fight started inside this property on the night of this murder and the police tape was cornered off the whole street so there was nothing on Clay Lane the whole of Clay Lane was clear it was just Chandos Street so it seems it may have occurred there just to show you that the scene is still locked off 24 hours later. So I want to send my condolences to the family of Romani Morgan and also an update in regard to it. On the 3rd of March, two teenagers have been charged with the murder of the 16-year-old from Birmingham. The two 17-year-olds will appear before Leamington Magistrate's Court this morning accused of his murder. So this is the, the first stage of the process that will go to magistrates, get charged, and then it will go to Crown Court and trial will begin. So they are very confident that they seem to have the right people it seems it was a fight in a house party which has become such a common occurrence now but the police were so quick to dismiss that there was any gang connection to this that is them trying to basically not wanting to connect any more deaths in the area to gang culture because we've got the trial of Jade and James currently on at the moment with three teenagers he was stabbed when he was 15 and he died in hospital 11 days later when he was 16 years old and I'm already starting to see news sites actually using the picture of Babakar while talking about Romani as well and and if we can't even get the pictures correct for the people who have passed away, then what hope do we have to be able to sort out what is actually going on? Because the same as Jade and James, the same as Romani, these charges come very quick because these are children killing each other. They're not planning it. Most of the time, it's in the spare of the moment. And in the Babacar Diagne case, a third teenager has been charged with the murder of the 15-year-old boy. He was found collapsed on grassland in Woodend, Coventry, not far away from where Romani was killed. A 17-year-old boy 
boy will appear at magistrate's court in Coventry, and two 15-year-old boys also charged with murder are remanded to appear at Leamington Crown Court, but they will not be identified yet due to their ages, and a 15-year-old girl that was arrested on suspicion of conspiracy to murder has been released on police bail, and this was a rumour that was circulating around the time of the death, is that a girl had been involved in either setting this murder up, and it seems that this may actually be true because she is being bailed for conspiracy to murder, so sadly this may have involved a girl actually luring him or being involved in some way in the death of Babakar. So it shows all the different things that can come into play. But at the same time, the main thing being is the culture, the change of culture when everyone goes to house parties, but now everyone brings a knife to a house party. Or if it is in a house, there is knives in the house. And when people get drunk, they're more prone to use it. So it's just be very wise of who you're associating with because Romani Morgan could have accomplished anything in his life. He had a bright future ahead of him and it's just another loss to the city. So I really appreciate you joining me today. I'll be back again soon with some more street news and he does have a GoFundMe that has raised nearly £3,000 already for his funeral and also to do funding towards anti-knife crime. So I'm going to donate to that. I encourage you to do that as well. I really appreciate you joining me. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Rest in peace to Babakar and Romani and to Jaden James. Peace.